Hey class, today we are going to be learning about metrics and measurements. Uh, make sure you have your notes and some uh, something to write with. If you don't understand something, pause the video, then go back and watch it again. First are objectives. Uh, you're going to be identifying the proper tool to make scientific measurements. Then you guys are going to be able to identify the proper unit used to make scientific measurements. And just a quick definition, a unit is a word used to describe a number. So think seconds, miles, laps, meters. Uh, these are all things you have probably done before. We're just going to learn the proper vocabulary that we will use in class. So let's get started. First, we are going to talk about mass. So uh, mass is the amount of matter in an object. And matter is anything that is made up of atoms and takes up space. I like to think about it as the stuff, the amount of stuff in an object. So I have more stuff inside of me after I eat lunch than I did before lunch. I have more matter in me after I eat my lunch. Uh, as, as I eat, I'm increasing the amount of mass I have. When we talk about mass in our science class, we use the unit grams. You may be familiar with pounds or ounces in science, but in science we use grams. Uh, as you can see, the tool used uh, there are to measure mass is the bottom right corner. Uh, this is called a balance. So one thing you're going to hear a lot of is people using the term weight and mass as the same thing. They actually aren't the same. There is a difference between mass and weight. Weight is actually the response of mass to the pull of gravity. I would have a different weight if I were on the moon. The more gravity a planet has, the more weight I feel. You can see if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth. I know we're not using grams. Oops. But you would weigh about 38 pounds on Mars as compared to Earth. Do you think you would lose any mass? You should actually have the same amount of mass, just different weight. That's why astronauts appear to bounce around on the moon. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is length. The length is very straightforward. It's the distance between two points. In science class, we'll use meters as our unit to measure the length between two points. When we want to measure the length, we'll use a meter stick. We'll, use, we'll also be using rulers to measure length. Always be sure to use the side of the ruler with the metric system on it, and not the side with the inches. The next property is kind of tricky. It is the volume. Volume is the amount of space an object takes up. We use liters or cubic centimeters as our units for measuring volume. That's why it's tricky. There are two units. In math class, we remember that to find the volume of a cube, you could multiply the length by the width by the height. To do that, we could use a ruler and measure the cubic centimeters. It is one great way to find the volume of a cube. But not everything is a perfect cube, so we need another way. The other way involves these tools in the top right picture. These tools are called graduated cylinders. We can put water in these cylinders and drop an object in to see how much water is moved up in the cylinder. This would give us a unit of liters for the volume. We'll watch another video to make this easier. Uh, next one is one we've seen, we've all seen before. We are going to look at the property of temperature. Temperature is the amount of heat an object has. Something on the stove will have a higher temperature than something in the freezer. This is because the, that object has more heat on it when it's on the stove. When we talk about temperature, we describe it in degrees Celsius. America is really weird, though. We're the only one, we're only one of three countries that describe our temperature using Fahrenheit. So most of you should be 
So most of you should be familiar with Celsius. To measure temperature, we will use a thermometer. Last one, guys. Uh, this one's really easy. It's time. Time is a duration of an event. From the beginning unit until the from the beginning until the end. This video is only a few minutes long. That is the duration of the video. How long it took to complete the video. In science class, we'll use these units. We'll use units we are all familiar familiar with. Seconds, minutes, hours, days. You get the idea. We use a stopwatch to measure it. Actually, in class, we'll use smartphones as, uh, or our Chromebooks to measure time. Okay, so let's do a checkpoint to see what we've learned. After the last few slides, you should be able to identify the right tool and the right unit used to make scientific measurements. When the video is done, I'd like you to fill in, fill out this table to help you study. For example... The definition of mass, we remember, is the amount of matter in an object. The unit is grams, and the tool is a balance or a scale. Make sure you can fill out this table completely. Use your notes, or go back and rewatch some of the video. That is all I have for you today. Please fill out the table before you start the next activity. Have a great day.